Hi there, in this video I'm going to show you um, how to find the shortest distance from the origin to the line. Okay, so here is an example. So, example number one, uh, the line L1 is parallel to the vector i plus 2k and passes through the point A with position vector 3i plus 2j plus 5k relative to the origin O find the position vector of a point n on L1 such that ON is perpendicular to L1 and then hence find the shortest distance from the origin to the line L1. Okay, So in the, for the first part find the position vector of the point n on L1 such that ON is perpendicular to the line L1. So in this problem so sketch is useful just to understand uh, the problem itself so supposing I have a line so here's our line L1 okay and here is the origin okay so remember this line L1 is parallel to the vector i plus 2k so let's call that m okay so m is the vector parallel to the line and that is i plus 2k okay and our line l1 passes through a point a with position vector so supposing this is our point a that our line passes through okay uh, the position vector of a relative to the origin o is given so it's 3i plus 2j plus 5k so OA is 3i plus 2j plus 5k. Okay. Now, for the first part of this problem, we need to find a point N on this line L1 such that ON is perpendicular to L1. So we need to find an N on our line okay, such that ON is perpendicular to the line okay so let me explain the steps in order to do this so first of all we need to work out the equation uh, of the line L1 okay so in order to work out the vector equation of the line given a fixed point and uh, a vector parallel to the line remember the result that I explained in one of the previous videos so vector equation of L1 so let me remind you it's R equals A plus lambda M so this is the formula remember to work out the vector equation of the line given a fixed point and a vector parallel to the line okay so R equals vector A so this is the vector of the fixed point so it's 3i plus 2j plus 5k plus lambda into the vector parallel to the line so this is our vector parallel to the line or in other words the direction vector of the line so it's i plus 2k okay so that that is the vector equation of the line okay so remember we need to find a point n on this line l1 such that on is perpendicular to the line now in this equation for the vector equation of the line r remember is the position vector of any point on your line so r is the position vector of any point on your line so what i'm going to do is in order to work out on i'm going to let on the vector on equal uh, the vector over here so it's 3i plus 2j plus 5k plus lambda into i plus 2k so remember r is the position vector of any point on your line so I'm going to take on to be equal to that okay so now it's a case of finding lambda relating to on okay now if we go back to the problem our vector on is perpendicular to the line 
So remember, um, in the previous video, I explained a result involving the scalar or the dot product. So this result in particular, if two vectors are perpendicular, the scalar product of them equates to zero. Okay, so we're gonna apply that result. <coughs> we're gonna apply that result over here. So in step number two, so since OM is perpendicular to the line, we need to calculate the scalar product of ON dotted with, okay, the direction vector of the line. So the direction vector being I plus 2K, and that must be equal to zero if they're perpendicular to one another, okay? So step number two, ON dotted with the direction vector M is equal to zero. So in other words, we need to find a lambda such that on dot m equals zero okay so let me use the square brackets vector on is 3i plus 2j plus 5k plus i hope you can see that so plus lambda open a bracket i plus 2k close that square bracket dotted with uh, the direction vector, so M is I plus 2K for the line. And that is equal to zero. Okay. Now, what I would do is, okay, so don't rush and try and work out the scalar product straight away. What I would do is group the I, J and K components in this vector over here, the vector for O, N and then apply your scalar product, okay? So first of all, let me group the i, j, and k components in this square bracket, and then apply that scalar product. So let me continue over here. So if I group the i components, so looking back, it's gonna be three plus a lambda into i. So let's write that down. So three plus lambda into i plus Okay, if I group the J components, I have two, no J component here, so two with J, so plus two with J, plus uh, grouping the K components, so looking at uh, this expression here, I have five plus two lambda into K, okay? So let's move on, so five, plus two lambda into k. Okay, so we're taking a scalar product, remember, of that with i plus two k, the direction vector of the line. So let's apply the scalar product of that with i plus two k. Okay, so if we apply that scalar product, let's see what we have. So scalar product means multiply the coefficients of i, j, and k, and add. So if I multiply the coefficients of i, I have three plus lambda multiplied by one, plus multiplying the j components two, and I have no j component here, so times zero, plus multiplying the k components, I have five, plus two lambda multiplied by two, and that's equal to zero, okay? So if we um, sim expand uh, the brackets, so if we expand the brackets, we're gonna end up with three plus lambda plus two times zero is nothing. Uh, two times five is 10 here. Two times two lambda, four lambda, which is equal to zero. Okay, simplifying further will give us three plus 10, 13, plus lambda plus four lambda, five lambda is equal to zero. And if you rearrange, lambda will be minus 13 over five. Okay, so this is the lambda for our vector on, okay? 
So that is step number two, okay? Uh, in the next step, step number three, in order to find out that vector rho n, it's as simple as putting this lambda value for rho n, which is minus 13 over 5, into the vector for rho n. So the vector for rho n is over here. Let's call that equation star. Okay, so I've named that equation star the position vector of n relative to the origin. That is equation star. So if I put in step number three, lambda as minus 13 over 5 into star, we're going to have vector O n is equal to, so let's remind ourselves, 3i plus 2j plus 5k plus a lambda into i plus 2k. So we're going to have 3i plus 2j plus 5k plus r lambda is minus 13 over 5 into i plus 2k. Okay, so in this case, if we um, add the like components, so if we add the like components, let's see what we're going to have. So 3 minus a 13 over 5, so if we add the i components, 3 minus 13 over 5 is 2 over 5, so it's 2 over 5 i, okay. I only have one j component, so plus 2j. And finally, 5 and plus a minus 13 over 5 times 2. So 5 minus uh, 26 over 5, okay, is uh, minus 1 over 5. So it's minus 1 over 5k, okay. So that is the position vector of n relative to the origin, so that is the vector O n. Okay, so that is the answer to the first part of this problem. So, if you remember in the next part, hence find the shortest distance from the origin to the line. Now, shortest distance is always the perpendicular distance. So it's the perpendicular distance from the origin, and this vector O n is perpendicular to the line. So to find the shortest distance, we need to find the size of ON. So we need to find the size or the modulus of the vector ON. Okay. So in this case, okay, um, the shortest distance uh, from the origin. So that is the modulus of the vector ON. So it's going to be a square root of, so looking at O n, coefficient of i is 2 over 5. So it's 2 over 5 squared plus coefficient of j is 2. So 2 squared plus coefficient of k minus 1 over 5 squared. Okay. And if you simplify this, you might find that you're going to have something like root 105 over 5 units in this case. Okay? So that is how you would find the shortest distance. Shortest distance is always the perpendicular distance, in this case for the, from the origin. And the vector Owen, since the vector Owen is perpendicular to the line, we need to find the modulus of Owen. OK, so that completes this example. Um, I hope you found uh, this video helpful. Uh, do related practice questions and I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.